Hi everybody, and thanks for being here. I'm Terry Runyon. I'm a visual artist, creative encourager, and coach, and I'd like to welcome you to this channel. What I'd like to talk to you about today is this idea of the present moment and creativity. Creativity, as we all know, is something that's always happening in the present moment. It isn't something you plan for. It isn't something you get ready for or schedule in. It happens in the moment of time that we are at. I wanna go as far as to say that there really is no other moment other than this moment. And that can get kind of woo woo. It sounds like, what the heck is she talking about? I know I gotta go to work on Monday. Today's Saturday, so I'm enjoying the day. And what I've been really discovering in my own life is that I realize when I start to think about what's gonna happen on Monday or Tuesday or sometime out in the future, or on the other hand, start thinking about what might have happened yesterday, even an hour ago or you know three years ago, I'm still doing that now. And that realization is so cool because one, I can't tell you or tell anyone or know myself what is going to happen anytime at all. Actually, we, are, we don't really know what's gonna happen in the moment. We're in the moment, we're doing our art, we're doing our life, we're in life, and it unfolds in the moment, and it's always a mystery. It seems like we know, and I think as human beings, we like to think we know because it makes us more comfortable about what our life is going to look like. We've got it all sort of planned out. No surprises, right? And I'm here to kind of give you some thoughts around this idea that what if everything is really a surprise, no matter what we're thinking is going to happen? And what if that's really cool? What if we are always on that moment of discovery where any instant in time now, we don't really know for sure what's gonna happen? That we are moving forward in the moment with our inspiration or our something occurs to us that we want to get up and get something to eat. And we get up and go get something to eat or we pick up our paintbrush and start painting. It's happening now, this painting, this speaking to you on the camera. So this is a real different way of kind of moving through your moment by moment experience. It's pretty exciting because on here talking to you guys, I really don't know what's gonna come next with what I'm talking about. The only thing I sorta know that is totally negotiable with the moment, I don't know if it's actually gonna happen, is I, I wanted to talk to you about this thing that's happening for me around the collapsing of time into the present moment and how much relief and peace and joy that's been giving me because the second I start going off into thinking about another time and space, I'm aware I'm in the moment, in this moment, thinking about another time and space. And that other time and space is not actually happening. It's something in my awareness that I'm thinking about that appears to be true because I'm thinking about it as if it's a concrete item. But in reality, it's not. It's all we have is this moment of experience. And the cool part about that too is who we are is creativity, freedom, and joy itself. It, we have and are innate well-being. So even if we're in a situation in this instant where we feel uncomfortable, maybe we've got a headache or we've, we've just done a painting and we don't think it's good and that doesn't feel very good, who we are is still okay. A headache may be happening or a painting may not be going the direction I want it to go or whatever it is for you that doesn't feel pleasant in this moment. You can know, and this is an experience that I've had and I know everyone's had it at some quote unquote time in their life, where they just know that everything is okay, that all the chatter and stuff about what's wrong or I'll be better when, or if I can just do this thing at some point, then my life will be together or that, you know, the inevitable, if I could just find my style in life, whether it's my art, who I am, how I dress, whatever, then life will be good. I'm here to tell you that life already is good by its very nature. 
that we are that energy in life, that in this moment we are, we're, we're fine, even if we don't think we are. And knowing that can make a huge difference as you're moving through your moment by moment experience because whatever pops up in the moment that you're thinking a certain way about and having certain experiences about doesn't impact one iota the truth of who you are. So that's some kind of woo-woo-y stuff maybe for you, but it certainly brings a great deal of relief and peace and excitement about life to me because I, I know nothing's at risk in this moment. I'm okay no matter really what happens. I, who I am, the big picture is okay. So with that, I'm going to move on to the painting portion of this video. I kind of am thinking along the lines of a cat and some owls. And I, I did do a little drawing. Lately, I've been doing these little drawings prior to painting. What I'll do is I'll shoot a picture of it and stick it in right here. So anyway, um, break for picture. That's my little sketch. So my intention today is to paint around the objects that are going to be the final shape that's going to be the animal or the bird. So that's the plan. And we all know what plans are like. There's something we're thinking about in the moment and they may or may not come to fruition in the way we think they will. That's really true for our creativity and it's true for life. So it's just an exciting experiment. Life is an interesting little ride with what we're painting or you know, petting our cats or whatever we're doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead with this little loose kind of plan I have and see what happens. There's nothing riding on this. This isn't having to do with my well-being. I'm just playing with some art. So here we go. I'm gonna turn on my camera and I'll be right back. Okay, camera on. I'll be moving back and forth between the camera and me as I move along and okay, here we go. When you're painting around an object, you want to keep the paint moving on the, on the edge because if you don't, it's gonna leave a watermark. So I like to keep, keep the brush moving around, keeping that edge active. Things are changing as we go here, as is what happens in life. I had a plan that isn't anything like what I'm doing right now, but there you go. Okay, layer one is done. I got my shapes there. As usual, they're very messy, and there could be thoughts about that that feel uncomfortable to me because I'm not controlling the paint the way I think I should. And I'm not gonna pay attention to those, so I know they don't mean anything to me. I'm painting because I'm enjoying myself and it's fun, and whatever thoughts come up that distract me from that, that tell me that something's going wrong because it isn't the way I thought it should be. That's the stuff you can ignore. It's not helpful. It's not telling you anything true and it's just let it go on by. So I'm going to give this a little dry and I'll see you in a second. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with another layer of paint. I have I don't really have an idea of what that is, but I'm gonna go ahead anyway.
Okay, you guys, I am telling you, I'm, I'm painting this and I've got all kinds of thinking going on, like I've shared with you. And I, I'm having thoughts that, you know, I'm, I'm really making a mess and it doesn't look good. And there's also filtering in thoughts that no matter what happens with this painting, everything's fine. So I don't have to go down those roads of just beating myself up while I'm living my life, while I'm painting a picture, while I'm creating anything, because I know that the foundation of who I am is not this painting. This is just something I'm playing with and doing in this moment. And who I am is, it's something much bigger than that. So I can, I can let this happen. I can even have thoughts about it being a certain way and it, this means something about me. And I know that's not affecting who I am either. So that's, uh, you know, a big message here. Okay, now it's time for some pen work. And I'm going to use my, my number S, my letter. I'm going to use my letter S pen. I will link to all the supplies I use down below. Also, if you have any questions or comments or ideas about what you might want to hear me talk about or what I'd, you'd like to see me demonstrate in a painting, I'd love to hear those down below. Back to creating. Okay, I am going to call this done. As usual, there was a lot of thinking going on in the moment while I was creating this artwork. And I kept going, and the thoughts went on by, and I'm still in the moment, talking with you guys, finishing up a painting, moving on with my day. I do want to reiterate that we're right here in the moment. That, I mean, you guys are sitting there watching this video, or listening to it, or however you're taking this in. and. Right now, this, this is it, this is all you've got. You are in the moment, you are okay, and, and that's just what's true. The rest of it is a lot of thoughts, a lot of meanderings, dreaming, whatever it is we're doing, and we're still even doing that right now. So you can't get it wrong, it's all good, and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit out there, it's a little bit woo-woo, but it is, what I've experienced is true and it's really helped me in my life with my creativity and my moment by moment experience. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribe. You can get on my email list at terryrunyon.com and I do a monthly art print giveaway as well as send out a sorta of weekly email about my new videos, classes, the daily creating group, which I'll link to below and whatever else is going on and pops into my head in the moment. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon and have a fantastic day.